Hi and welcome to Design School by WP Algorithm.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can take your Elementor Pro pop-ups to the next level using the dynamic visibility feature found in Dynamic Co. Dynamic Content Plugin for Elementor. Now, if you click on the pop-up options, you have some basic display conditions like where you want to display the pop-up, maybe entire site. You can also add multiple conditions like you can say you just want to display across archives and singulars and so on right then you have triggers as to what triggers the pop-up right on page load on scroll some basic stuff again under advanced rules you can limit the number of times the pop-up shows and the recently added feature is this scheduled date and time so you can pick a date and time start date based on the site timing or the visitors start time and end time right date and time that's a cool thing but with elementor pro and dynamic content plugin you can take it to the next level let me show you how so here i have a sale pop-up and let's say i just want to trigger this sale pop-up when the woocommerce cart is empty right that's a logical thing when people are not adding anything anything to the cart you just want to give them a pop-up giving them a special offer in the form of a pop-up right so you can click on the settings cog of the pop-up you need to go to the pop-up itself click on the settings cog and under the visibility tab, just click on that. Make sure you have Dynamico, Dynamic Content Plugin installed and active. Click on visibility. And you can always choose to hide this element or show this element. Leave this blank. You can also leave this blank. So basically you can remove the HTML if you don't like. Now display mode, this is really important. Now we want to show the pop-up. So we want to exclusively limit the pop-up to a certain condition. And you can have or and have multiple triggers further refining the pop-up or you can have and so that will validate all the conditions and only when all the conditions are true, the pop-up will be shown or hidden based on the display mode picked here. I'll pick show here first. I'll just click on triggers and if you have all the triggers, you can remove them like so. You can also add them just like your regular Elementor way. Now I'll just click on the trigger, scroll down and I'll just pick WooCommerce from here. Again, I'll click on the WooCommerce tab. Now you can see you have an option to pick when the cart is empty, right? So rest of all, you can leave them at their default because we just want to show this pop-up when the cart is empty, right? And just click on update. I'll just reload this page. You can see my cart is pretty empty right now. And as my page reloads, the pop-up just gets triggered now let's actually go to the shop page again my pop-up will be reloaded or shown because the cart is still empty i'll just hide this cart i'll just click on add to cart now remember we didn't limit the number of times the pop-up should be shown or anything we just have this empty cart option so if i go to the cart page now or let's click on the shop page again to re reload it the pop-up will not be shown because we set the specific filter to show the pop-up when the cart is empty. Since my cart is not empty, it already has a product. It's not showing the pop-up. So we'll go to the cart page. We'll remove the pop-up and we'll come back to the shop page and see what happens. Again, if you go to cart page, nothing happens. So I'll remove this product from the cart page. Okay, so that's removed. Now let's click on shop page and the pop-up will be shown again because now our cart is empty again just like that how awesome is that of course you can totally customize the pop-up you can put your single product i just have an add to cart button right dynamic option totally up to you again this is one of the really handy options that you have with dynamic visibility the second use case is to show wishlisted products right you can create a new pop-up for this or just use the pop-up that you already created. So this sales pop-up, but instead of having this add to cart, you can simply have something else. So here under triggers, you can pick dynamic tag and click on dynamic tag option. Click on this dynamic tags, scroll all the way down under dynamic dot triple O, you have woo wishlist options and then pick this option, which is having any value. So if there is a wish list already set, that's what this means. Show when the dynamic tag of woo wishlist is having any value, right? 
so again you can use wishlist widget to display the wishlisted products just drag in the woo wishlist widget again this is by dynamic dot triple o if you don't have it you won't see it as you can see i don't have any products on the wishlist but let's say a user who's logged in added his products you can design it as a pro part of single product design if you want a separate tutorial make it but you can add add to wishlist button for the products and then have the wishlisted products displayed in the pop-up so this is again another neat little use case the final use case would be using geotargeting trigger so you need a plugin called geotargeting ip so it's this one geolocation ip detection by yellow tree so you can click on the link available in dynamic and that will bring you to this but again it has a cache it doesn't work with a caching plugin like most of the sites have caching plugin pre-installed but if you have if you don't have a caching plugin let's say your server has a built-in caching feature maybe you can give it a try so you can filter out by countries and show or hide based on the countries of the users are visiting from so that's again another feature right but those are the use cases that i could think of let me know how you would use dynamic visibility for your pop-ups to make your pop-ups better and that's it for now and thanks to my friends from dynamico for sponsoring this video and making this content possible and i'll see you in the next one happy designing